still celebrating the iconic moment of Chandrayaan 3's landing on the moon? I'm guessing the answer is yes. ISRO is now going to launch India's first mission to understand the sun, the largest object in our solar system. It's so big that it can fit over 1.3 million Earths in it. Everything in our solar system revolves around the sun. Nothing could live on the sun, but it's the only reason why life exists on Earth. It is worshipped, feared and studied. Who can forget Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles? Now, ISRO is all set to send its spacecraft to take the next leap. On the whole story, let me tell you about Aditya L1. It will be launched at 11.50 a.m. on September 2nd from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. The sun is about 150 million kilometers away from Earth. No, we are not going to land on it because it's impossible to do so as the sun doesn't technically have a solid surface. It's a giant ball of gases and it's really hot. 15 million degrees Celsius. Instead, ISRO will place a spacecraft at the nearest point from Earth. The spacecraft will be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrange point L1 of the Sun-Earth system, which is about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. The advantage of this point is that the Sun can be viewed without any eclipses. There are a total of five such points. Let me explain with the help of this illustration. This is how it looks. The spacecraft will travel 1.5 million kilometers in about four months. This distance is nearly four times that traveled by Chandrayaan missions. But it's just 1% of the 150 million kilometers between Earth and the Sun. This spacecraft, Aditya L1, will stay in the orbit around the L1 point to view the Sun. The Indian Space Agency has designated senior solar scientist Dr. Sankar Subramanian as the principal scientist of this mission. He has previously contributed to ISRO missions such as Chandrayaan 1 and 2 and AstroSat in several capacities. What will Aditya L1 do? It will study the sun's atmosphere, understand its impact on Earth's climate patterns and study solar winds that can cause disturbance on our planet. Let me tell you more about the sun. It's fascinating. It's about 100 times wider than Earth. 4.5 billion years old and is approaching the halfway point in its life cycle. Everything has a life cycle, even the sun has it. Without the sun's heat and light, life on earth would not exist. It drives weather, ocean currents, seasons, climate and makes plant life possible through photosynthesis. It takes light about 8 minutes and 19 seconds to reach earth from the sun. About three quarters of the sun is hydrogen. The sun rotates around its own axis just like Earth. It rotates counterclockwise and takes between 25 and 35 days to complete one rotation. How hot is it? The sun has varying temperatures depending on the layer. The core of the sun is its hottest part, reaching 15 million degrees Celsius. According to NASA, that's why it's really difficult to go near it. Humans can't land on the sun as I said because it is impossible. The nearest someone could come to it was NASA's Parker probe when it entered the sun's atmosphere for the first time in 2021. The Parker solar probe survived a three-year journey and a roughly 2 million degree Fahrenheit environment to do what was previously thought impossible. It entered the outermost layer called the corona, which is millions of degrees hotter than the sun's surface. Only two other space agencies have had their spacecraft reached L1 or the Lagrange point. USA's NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA. So far, India has been studying the sun from using ground-based telescopes situated in some of the hill stations like Kodai Canal, Aries, Nenital and lakeside observatories like Udaipur and Solar Observatory. 